Moonlight versus Parsec. I've spent quite some time using both for remote gaming, and I can share what stood out to me from my personal experience. Moonlight is this awesome open source game streaming client built on NVIDIA's game stream technology, and it's really impressive in terms of streaming quality. I noticed it can push insanely high bit rates up to 150 megabits per second. So if you have a solid fast connection, the visuals are crystal clear, and the frame rates feel buttery smooth. Plus it supports a ton of platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, even Chrome OS and some smart TVs. That's great if you like streaming to a variety of devices. Parsec, on the other hand, is known for being super user-friendly and optimized for low latency, which is key for competitive or fast-paced gaming. I found the responsiveness on Parsec to be a little better than Moonlight overall, especially when playing games that require quick reflexes. The stream quality on Parsec is great too, with bit rates up to 50 megabits per second, which is plenty good for most people, including streaming at 4K and 60 frames per second. But if you're really chasing the absolute best picture quality and have the network to support it, Moonlight has the edge. One of the big differences I noticed is in multiplayer support. Parsec used to have a really neat feature where you could invite friends to join your game remotely for multiplayer sessions, which was fantastic for social gaming, though that got removed recently. Still, you can connect multiple controllers for local multiplayer and even have multiple clients connected to the same host. Moonlight also supports multiple controllers for local multiplayer, but doesn't have microphone pass-through or built-in voice chat, which Parsec does offer to some extent. When it comes to setup and ease of use, Parsec really shines. It's designed so that both the host and client apps are integrated, and you just sign in with your email and you're good to go. It handles NAT traversal and connection stability pretty seamlessly, so you rarely have to mess with router settings or port forwarding. Moonlight is a bit more hands-on. You'll need a compatible host like NVIDIA's GeForce Experience or third-party software like Sunshine. And if you're streaming outside your local network, you might need to open ports on your router or set up a VPN, which can be a hassle for some. Cost-wise, Parsec offers a free tier that works well for most gamers, and there's a paid version at about $9.99 per month, with extras mostly geared toward creatives. Moonlight is completely free and open source under GBALFS3, so no sign-up or fees. Perfect if you want a community-driven, no-strings-attached solution. Both tools get regular updates, but there's a little uncertainty with Parsec since it's owned by Unity now, a company more focused on game development tools than game streaming apps, so things might change down the line. Moonlight, backed by a dedicated open-source community, feels like a more stable choice for long-term free use, since there's no corporate agenda behind it. All in all, if you want the easiest setup and a super responsive experience, especially for competitive or fast-paced games, Parsec is probably the way to go. But if you prioritize ultra-high stream quality, wide device support, and an open-source solution without any cost or sign-up hassles, Moonlight is excellent. Both give you solid remote gaming experiences. It just depends on whether you value simplicity and responsiveness or the highest quality streaming and openness.